you guys and welcome back to my channel so today I am doing a little back to school haul for you and yes I know that when I upload this school has already started look I am a last minute person I buy all my shit last minute so deal with it okay it's a fun haul anyways it's not like that back to schooly but it's a little back to schooly and plus the title gets views so that's what we're doing here today okay so i have some new clothes i have some thrifted clothes and i have a little bit of school supplies i'm in university now so i don't really need that much school supplies to begin with usually because i mostly use my ipad to take notes anyways okay i guess let's get into it i'm gonna start with the thrifted things so i mostly wanted to get like some graphic tees i got some pants and stuff because i don't know that's just what fall is giving me so that's what we were going for and i found some really cute graphic tees like for one this rolling stones t-shirt it has this on the back um it's from like junk food which I'm pretty sure is like an old, I don't know if they still sell it at Urban Outfitters. I know they used to sell it at Urban Outfitters and they always had the best graphics. But yeah, it's so cute. It's like that look where it's like it looks worn in a cute way. And the material is like thinner, which is nice. It's very breathable. But you can tell that like it's still really good quality even though it's thin, if that makes sense. But yeah, and it hits like right at the waist of like my pants and I love that and this was also this shirt was actually featured in my back to school of its video so check that out you guys and then the next graphic tee that I got which was actually such a good find like it's this black Beatles t-shirt you guys this is so cute like this is the perfect like band tee like it's tight fitting but like also not like skin tight and also it's just like the perfect length and like I like that the sleeves are really short like it just looks cute and it's at, like it's not like a gildan shirt it's from like the Beatles like it's from like their merch their actual merch and it's like so cute it looks retro in a way like not retro it looks vintage it looks like a vintage shirt it's like you know once again that worn look where it's like not too worn but like perfectly worn enough and I love that I love shirts that look worn but yeah and I don't have very many black shirts so this was such a cute find okay and the next this is simple this was I think this was also featured in my back to school outfits but don't quote me on that because I don't know I don't remember already I have a horrible memory anyways um it's this like olive green long sleeve shirt there's no like brand on or anything but it's actually really nice it's like kind of loose but like it just like hangs down nicely and it's like that perfect length again where it hits like the bottom of my jeans and the material is like it's not like a cotton um it's like elasticy, and I've been really liking green as you can see by my room right now where it is like entirely green but yeah I love green right now and all of green especially like it just gives me like I don't know tomboy vibes I've been like a little bit tomboy lately so and then let's get into the pants cuz actually you guys are gonna be shook these pants are so cute I had like such a good trip so yeah first are these and they're all low-rise flares by the way first are these American Eagle ones and they're like a dark wash and I don't know guys just like American Eagle jeans are really comfy like you just know they're gonna fit I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else but like when you thrift clothes a lot of the time like the pants are like are so hit and miss but I know that American Eagle like within a certain size range is always gonna fit but yeah these are super stretchy but they're like oldish enough that like it's not a horrible quality type of stretchy and they're not like worn out and like stretched out which is really nice and they have like the front of them looks like kind of worn down in like a cute way and also like they're not quite low rise they're a little bit mid rise because I don't know what it is with marrying an eagle they don't know what rises mean it just said shit and it's random um like American Eagle now their low rise pants are literally high rise they're higher rise than my high rise labeled jeans from American Eagle so like make it make sense American Eagle but these aren't like that bad they're kind of they're kind of low rise they're kind of mid rise they're in the middle but yeah I really like them they're really comfy so that's why I got them. Okay, on to the next pair. These are so cute, you guys. I have worn these already, so just like ignore that. But um, these are from the brand Xana D, whatever that is. But they're these cute like low-rise pants and they have like, it's the opposite where it's like 
the butt pockets are in the front the butt has like no pocket yeah these are really cute i love the wash of these like they look like the brandy melville jeans and they fit me like so nicely like they make my ass look so good they make my waist look snatched and i did hem these my i look you guys i'm going to school for fashion okay and this is how i hem a pair of pants so we're just gonna ignore that okay where we don't talk about my sewing skills but i these okay you guys i don't know how to sew this is the first pair of pants i ever hemmed and it's not that bad it could be worse okay it could be worse but i tried my best because i did wear these out um during orientation week and they went like under my my shoes like they were that long and <laughs> the bottoms like completely ripped so I was like, okay, yeah, I need to hem these. So that was my attempt, my attempt at hemming them. But they're super cute and I love the flare so much. Like the wash of these is just amazing. And then last but not least, these are so flattering, okay, you guys? Like these are obviously really cute like to the eye, but once I put these on, oh my God, they're so perfect. So they're these like kind of blackish, kind of like these really blackish dark blue kind of jeans. And there's it's like the, the contrast stitching and having the stitching in the thigh makes my thighs look so skinny you guys it gives me the best looking like thigh gap ever like it's so cute and then also just like i love this like little detail in the back that on the waistband and the pockets are cute and i just i really do love that contrast stitching and like the cute little details of the of like that on the waistband and like the pockets being like a cool like little shape the wear on the back is so weird like what is that i'm dealing with it <laughs> i'll make it work you guys like no one's gonna see that anyway like well people will see it but i won't see it so it doesn't really matter and then the last thing that i thrifted for back to school which i'm actually so excited about okay like i don't know what it is but when i want something when i'm thinking about it i'm making an informed consumer decision to buy something it's like you know i'm really gonna need this i'm okay spending a good amount of money they i can't find it and so i really wanted a messenger bag and i was like i know i didn't want to spend like a lot of money like i wasn't trying to spend like two three hundred dollars but couldn't fucking find one anywhere like anywhere the only ones that there were were like real leather like designer or like handcrafted leather goods and they were like four five hundred dollars and i was like no or, or they were like really ugly like they're made for men mostly so they had like the weirdest like masculine designs and i was like no thank you but i found one at valley village and it's like kind of perfect like i don't know if it's real leather i feel like it's not but it's like this black leather one it's kind of big to be honest but who am I to complain? It was $8. So I have no complaints here, you guys. It was also like a little bit of wear, but we'll ignore that. And like, this was also in my back to school outfits video. So there's like a, a little pocket in the back with more pockets inside of it. And then in the inside, there's a lot more like pockets in there. But yeah, there's like a pencil case kind of pocket in here. And then just like so many pockets, like, so many pockets um but yeah that's like the little like ram tag i don't know i'm in love with it and i'm so excited to use it let's switch it up a little bit now let's get into the school supplies so i went to indigo because they have the cutest school supplies i don't really need much though because like i said i take my notes on my ipad which is my ipad and my apple pencil like it's gonna be that forever so i don't need that much but here's what i got anyways because school supplies is so much fun you guys like it's so much fun buying school supplies first i got this agenda from indigo but the brand the original brand is the original student calendar this is just like indigo's like collab with them because i think it's a much cuter cover it's the same price by the way as like you would find it the like the student calendar at walmart so if you want to check out indigo to get a cute cover of this planner um i don't know if this is the only cover they had but it's the only one that they had when i went but this was the agenda that I used last year as well and I really liked it so I got it again I do also use Google Calendar but sometimes it's like really nice just to write it down you know but yeah so they have like you can fill out your timetable here and they have like multiple and like you know it's and then you can put in like your course information and like when your assignments are due when your marks are your tests on these pages and they have quite a few of these but I really like these like filling them out and stuff it's just really fun and then like at the start of every month 
they have the calendar and I really like this planner because it's not like overdoing it like it's exactly what you need and it's like small and like compact and the pages are light like that's exactly what I want in an agenda but yeah they also have a goals page I'm gonna go through this like somewhat quickly and then every single week it's broken down like this so they have like the little squares they have the appointments and assignments the general study and then the rest of your life I honestly, gonna be honest with you guys, I don't really like separate my stuff. I just like write it down. But if you're like really planned out, go for it. And I like that there's just like enough space. And they have like the to do's. Um, this one's to do this week, and then on the other side is to do this month. And they have the little calendars there as well. And this is a this is like a school year calendar. Like it goes from I think August to August. At the back you have like the the little tiny calendars. Your expenses. I love this. I did try to use it last year and I, I kind of failed, but it's perfectly like laid out. It's like not too complicating. You don't, there's not like this whole elaborate budget. It's just like a simple way to keep track of your expenses, which I really like. And then they just have like a notes page at the end. I really like that it's just like simple. Like I don't really need like 8 million like habit trackers in my planner where it's like big enough where I can write a lot in it, but also like not too big and have to like lug it around. And it's not very thick either. Like some of them are really thick thick but yeah this is like honestly like the perfect planner in my eyes so another thing that i got for school supplies was these like little sticky note tabs like i think this is fun because a lot of the times when i'm like annotating things or like um doing readings and stuff i like using sticky notes but i also like using tabs but this is all in one yeah i got those and then boring but had to be done I got pencils. I got the Staedtler ones because if I'm using pencils, it'll be mostly for, for sketching. And I don't like sketch pencils, so I got these sta sta Why can't I speak? I got these Staedtler ones and it comes with a little eraser. And the erasers are actually really good, too. Today's a shit show. And then I got these pens. I don't know anything. I just was like, you know what, I need pens. These are the cheapest pens that don't look like shit. So I haven't written with them yet. So I have no idea if they're good. Oh, they're almost like fine liners. They're fine. They're like fine liners though, which, which run out really easily. But I don't think I'll be using pens that often. Once again, using my iPad. Fine liners are actually probably a better idea considering, you know, sketching and stuff. And then last but not least for like new clothes, I only went to... Brandy Melville. I don't really like buying new clothes all that often and so the only place that I really shop for new clothes is Brandy Melville and yeah I got some pretty cute stuff. I'm quite excited about it so yeah I didn't get like that much because like once again try not to buy new clothes all that often but I got one of the, the sweaters like I don't remember what they're called but I have this in like a light blue so I got it in navy. These are the perfect fall and winter sweaters and they're just like literally literally perfect okay like these are so cute and i was so excited you guys when i walked in the store they didn't have any except for this was the last one like the last sweater of this style in the whole store i feel so good about myself anyways on to the next i got this shirt and like i got the shirt like when i was standing in the checkout because i was like oh my god that's a cute graphic I was like next in line and like they were like okay like next person I was like oh my god it's now or never so I went and I grabbed the shirt and I bought it and it was a little impulsive but sometimes being impulsive is fun what you've all been waiting for you I bet you're so anticipating to see how great this is it's not that great but it's this like olive green t-shirt that says punk is not dead and like I don't know what it is I went to my chemical romance concert and all of a sudden I think that I'm like this emo punk rock girl I don't know why but I think it's cute look I went through my eighth grade emo phase and I listened to it and I had a good time I am qualified to wear this but yeah I love the olive green color once again like I'm getting in like a tomboy phase don't know why but it's just very fall and the graphic is so cute I know Brandy Melville is a shitty company and I know I shouldn't be shopping from there but their graphics are literally top fucking tier they have the best graphics of any store ever. Like, no one, just so good. They perfectly capture the vintage vibe and the new vibe. Like, I don't know what it is, but they're so good at it. 
And no one ever has graphics like them, and I will die on that hill. Next, on to the next thing. And then I got this t-shirt too. I wanted to get long sleeve shirts, but they had like no long sleeve shirts, so I guess like t-shirts will do. Yeah, but I got this shirt, this t-shirt, this is the graphic on it. It says baby blue on it. Oh, this is so sentimental and cute, but my boyfriend's nickname for me is, is baby blue, so it made me think of that. And also just like Luke Hemmings has like a song called baby blue also and this just kind of looks like it could be him like it's not obviously but like it just like reminds me of that it just gives me like that vibes and like the baby blue like the track brandy melville's t-shirts they fit perfectly like they hit right at the waist they're perfectly tight but still loose and once again graphics are top tier this shirt is a little see-through though though like i wouldn't necessarily recommend it like it's pretty see-through but i love the graphic too much to pass it up so i got a couple of jewelry pieces and like i know i'm like talking big game about randy melville but they really are a shitty company and you really should avoid buying from them and i'm totally being hypocritical by saying that yeah their their jewelry is also so cute like it's just perfect they just got this bracelet because like brandy melville jewelry is somewhat cheap like this is only seven dollars canadian by the way and this had like urban outfitters 22 american eagle 19 like i'm not like seven dollars it's not bad okay but yeah i got this bracelet because i i've been into bracelets lately and i wanted more bracelets so i got this one it's just a plain silver bracelet brady melville is the only also the only place that ever has silver jewelry anymore look you guys we're not all cute little olive complexions some of us need to wear silver still and then i got this necklace which i literally like looks like an 11 year old made it i guess but it was so cute okay it's this little like chain with a guitar pick on the end once again i'm in my emo thinking i'm punk rock phase and this was only eight dollars so i'm not mad about it this necklace literally just gives me good vibes that sounds so like stupid to say but it really really does okay but yeah so that is it for my haul um i hope you enjoyed this i I think that was actually a pretty decent back to school haul like I got quite a bit of stuff thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope this was entertaining enough for like the what maybe 13 minutes I'm gonna go now I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time